Action. Good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. Jamie at Sounds Happy Club, the minutes for June the 13th, 2023, which is last month's meeting. We've got our mighty Dan Casey here, a councillor for the community that does so much for all of us. So thank you, Dan. Can you answer these minutes, please, for the Happy Club? I'm doing my best, Dan. Yeah. Thank you, right. If you want to come into here, Dan. Right, the first one, Dan, was people doing toilets at people's houses because there's no toilets around the seafront and all that. What can we do about that? I don't know, Dan. It's a no, it's a no, it's a no comment for me. If you've got to go, you've got to go. If you've got to go, you've got to go. No, no, I'm, I'm, what I'm just saying yeah. is the end of the day, there is no toilets in the city. No. So basically, all I suggest is four people go out, pick and go, go to the ground. Uh, there is toilets behind Sweet Tina's and literally they're five minutes from all parts of Jaywick. They're closing Sweet Tina's. Are they? We're hoping to get them. That's certain one where we can't say anything at the moment in time. Because that person... So the sunspot, we're going we're gonna to have toilets. The sunspot will have toilets. Jaywick's got toilets. Shine on. Make sure you go to the toilet before you go out. Use your initiative. That's the first question. Number two, people doing toilets at St Christopher's Field, same principle. Go to the toilet before you go out. You've got to be careful, there's some dodgy dogs around. If you bend down, you might have trouble. Yeah, it could be dogs, not even humans. Anyway, this is just things that we are raising in the community, and I always ask Dan, they might sound silly or irrelevant, but it's still what people's concerns are, and it's always a simple answer normally, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of these questions, it's a very simple answer, and the third one is, uh, Porto lose for the beach between May and August. If this, if we can make this happen, would the council have any objections? Well, we're pressed in, and that's all we can do. Yes. But I doubt it. No more They're all looking at costs. Yes. But if we can privately get Porto law, lose here. I suggest we put one by a certain uh, cafe that's on the beach somewhere. That's an ideal place to put it. Yeah, I reckon on the back foundation, I reckon they yeah. wouldn't mind. There you go. Right, there you go. That's the answer. Thank you, Dan. Number four, um, J. Wick's recycling, I have been told, is becoming a bit of recycling. People are not just dumping their glass bottles and clothes, they're dumping their sofas, their beds, they're even dumping their apartments. <laughs> I was joking. So, so Dan... Then leave, I'll go there, it's like a dating app now. <laughs> Hi, I'm available. Hi, I'm available. Look, I'll literally dump in my bloody glass. I don't want a new partner. Well, we, we, we have been little bit, but they're doing a good job down there. They are. But we're not allowed to touch sofas because it's something about the laws. So we're not allowed to touch sofas. Yeah. Because whatever disease is in the sofa. So yeah. really, we have to bring up the council. I mean, we'll take it away. Yeah. Yes, in there. But... All they need to do is book an appointment down, what do you call it? Down, down the dump, the dump and they can dump whatever they want. So if you've got anything that needs fly tipping, just book an appointment with the rush green dump and dump it yourself. And that will save all the fly tipping and everyone will live happily ever after. And if there's somebody who can't do it, somebody on, the, somebody on their own will ask us and we'll help them. Thank you, Rob. Right, that is num number five. Now we've got Mr. AKA Knife Crime. Number five, this is last, last month's meeting, by the way. Uh, knife crime is rising. There was 11 cases for June already, wasn't there? There was 50, wasn't there? We ended up on 39. Wow. That is knife crime, ladies and gentlemen, across the UK. It's rising, isn't it, Rob? Every day, Rob. We've been in a paper in it every day. So, I mean, Colchester was, as I've said to you, Colchester was the other day. So, that wasn't really a minute. That was just uh, people needed to know that. Number six, um, Rob and me and, and the forum and that were thinking of an event for Jaywick. Yeah. We've Save a Life, Picture and Life, the Jaywick Forum, the Happy Club, yeah. and we do some sort of event. Yeah. So maybe you could run that through with the forum and that. Yeah. Yeah. And we all come together and do an event, maybe on that field or whatever. So that's in the pipeline. Um, obviously, Jaywick's got talent at six. We want to do whatever's good for the forum later in the year. Thank you to the forum, they do a great job. Um, number seven, everybody come together. We need to stop kids being bored what do you think so basically we're asking you and everybody what do the kids actually want let's ask them directly what do you think then well we, you've got inclusion ranges but that's something with the younger kids yeah. and i think it's that, that group between 11 and 15 yes and that's the one you've got to so maybe we ask them directly yeah that's what i'm saying so that's, that's what i'm saying they're quite happy to work with them yeah. but they've got to come and ask if I can do the referral to them, yep. if they, if but they've got to want to do it. They've got to want to do it. Let's not do yeah. the referral. Let's give, give it to someone. Very good point. Okay, lovely. Let's take care of that. Sorry to interrupt. But we've got another four points. So number eight, 
children and their families, please tell us, Save a Life, Kitchen Life, the Jovic Forum, the Council, the Happy Club, please tell us directly what you think your children need to stop them being bored. Tell us what we can do, then maybe we can do it, yeah? So we want to hear from you directly. So that's a good point, weren't it, Dan? Uh, number nine. Yeah, the school, we want you involved. Please tell Dan and Rob and me what we can do to give things for the kids to make it better for them. That's a very good point. Uh, number nine, three more points. Uh, more buses and later buses. Um, any communication with the bus service? All I know is that we've got the best bus service in Chandler in Jaywick. I know it doesn't sound I like hear, They wake me up in the morning sometimes. They're going past, but lots of people don't have one last yeah. two buses a day. We are very lucky with what we've got, and I'll tell you that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Dan just confirmed that we had one of the best services in Essex, so you should be happy with what we've got. And don't complain, because it might get worse. It's very good, by the way. Uh, number 10, two more points. We need a football pitch. Basically, I've got a friend from Holland that wants to make a Jowick United football team. Is there anywhere we could use in Jowick to have a football pitch? Well, could you ask people for us? There's no grass here, is there? There's no what about Garden Road, where, that, where it used to be the golf club? Could I, could I make a football pitch there? Just for two hours a week? Well, I think, I think that's privately owned, that bit of land, where, where the toilets were trying to... Yeah, no, further down, at the bottom of the road. Yeah, no, there's lovely space there. Is that private still? But what about the farm? Is there any space in that farm? I don't think there's enough for a football pitch. What we were talking, I was talking to one of the kitchen yep. the first time, your results there, like, you've got the pitch uh, thing there. Yeah. Good idea. So we just find, make a pitch on the box. What she was saying. Yeah, that's what I thought. What she was saying. The resource Why not neutralise and use that more? So there you go. That is all of the minutes answered for June the 13th, 2023. And the final minute was love each other. Thank you, everyone, for your supporting the Javit Sands Happy Club, the Javit Forum, Save a Life, Ditch and Life. Thank you to everybody that works together on the forum. We are so grateful to you all. And these are the minutes for June the 13th, 2023. A massive thank you to Dan Casey for giving us them. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Rob. That's the minutes.